awesome so i just want to start out this video with the history of how i've dealt with my acne and where it all began so pretty much i feel like when i first started struggling with my acne was once i finished high school it was around when i was 18 years old and how i first started treating it was with benzoyl peroxide which is a topical treatment and that worked for about a year actually i pretty much used it first just for spots and then i just went and put it all over my face and after that year i noticed that my skin had kind of built an immunity against it so it wasn't really helping that much Plus, I noticed that it was really, really harsh. I would notice that my pillows and all my sheets and towels, they would be bleached. So I kind of wondered, what was that doing to my body and my skin? It didn't really seem normal. Anyway, sorry, I don't have like a stuffy nose, so. After trying to figure it out myself, not really knowing what to do, my mom took me to a dermatologist and when I went to see the dermatologist, she did facials and she would do extraction, microdermabrasion, all of that kind of stuff. So she was using chemicals and she was also using like, um, why can't I think of the word? Something that's exfoliating to get rid of dead skin cells and then any built up spots or oil and whatnot. After doing that for a while, um, I would be clear for about a month or so and then it would start over again and I would have to go like really hardcore with the treatment she was having me do but again it just didn't seem sustainable to me and I was going to move out of the area and I would have to find another dermatologist it just didn't really seem like that was the answer for me so after doing that I felt like I had already tried everything I possibly could and I decided to go on the pill because a lot of people say that going on the pill will help balance your hormones which the only reason why you get acne is because of your hormones or you're not cleaning your face right and so I listened to everyone and I was on the pill for about four months and during that time I didn't really see the results I was looking for uh, it definitely cleared me up sorry just a little bit but it wasn't significantly different I wasn't 100% clear I wasn't astonished by how my skin looked and I didn't really align with the whole idea behind taking the pill I know that I want to be a mother eventually and I don't really think that taking like chemicals to artificially you know mess with your home hormones to balance out my skin it just didn't make sense to me so once again, I didn't know what to do with my skin. After dealing with that on and off again stuff, I decided I needed to figure out what was actually happening inside of my body. What was actually the causation of my skin issues. So I found an naturopath that my mom and I really liked and he got me started on some supplements. After about like a month and a half, two months, I started seeing results. It was something... I had to really really stick with it because you know two months can seem like a really long time when you feel so incredibly self-conscious about your skin you feel insecure unhappy all of that but honestly like it paid off after those two months I was 100% clear my skin looked beautiful and I didn't have to wear makeup or so I stuck with that for a while uh, probably like half a year I was on the supplements and I was really, really happy with what it was doing for me. I still felt good. And once all of that settled, I decided that I wanted to go on a trip to Europe with one of my friends. And obviously when you go traveling, it's really hard to sustain what you normally do at home, like healthy living, going to the gym, eating healthy, and of course taking your supplements. So about halfway through my trip, I started breaking out and it was bad really really deep cystic spots and I didn't understand what was going on I just was freaking out I was just putting benzoyl peroxide on my face I wanted to try everything and anything just any chemicals just to get rid of it because honestly I couldn't handle it I felt so uncomfortable like many many people it's so embarrassing not feeling 
like yourself like you're not representing how you actually feel on the inside and I'm not a person where I like covering up with makeup I just feel a lot lighter and a lot better when I just don't have cakey stuff on my face so even when I am breaking out I don't really like covering up it up I just feel like it will aggravate my skin even more so it doesn't really make sense to me so some days it's it was hard to go out in public because I didn't want to cover up but I didn't want to show off my acne um, so with dealing with the flare-up again I decided I really need to figure out what is going on it's I can't just put take supplements and expect it to be better because obviously when I'm taking the supplements my skin looks good but when I'm not then obviously I start breaking out again because I'm not actually dealing with the proper issue so I decided after some studying after having like three or four different naturopaths none of them could help me they just threw supplements at me but they weren't actually educated about the issue I was dealing with they would always say uh it's because you're not eating right or blah 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 which it did actually have to do with my eating habits um just lately in the past two weeks i have drastically changed my eating habits and it's significantly changed my skin so like i was saying i changed my diet and it changed my skin so what I'm about to tell you, not a lot of people are really willing to actually take this action to help deal with their issues, but I thought I would talk about it quickly just because I feel like a weight has been lifted off me. I feel so much better. I feel so much happier, significantly like more excited about life because I feel like I can actually go out and experience it because I don't feel bad about my skin. Pretty much anything I want, which is vegan, so I eat fully vegan, but I was eating so much soy-based meats. I was totally obsessed with it. I work at a vegan burger shop and like I can pretty much eat any anything I want there and everything is soy-based. So not only would I be eating the fried chips, so that has like the gross oil and salt, I would be eating the soy-based meats, which wasn't good for my skin so after struggling with that for a while that issue I finally completely eradicated soy meats and all soy products out of my diet and it was really hard because honestly like all of that meat is really nice for a vegan because it substitutes the proteins and so not only did I cut out the soy meats, but I also cut out pretty much anything processed. So cutting out soy products and sugar and processed products. And my skin has miraculously, like I still have spots, like you didn't see it. But I'll have to insert some pictures of when I was at my worst, honestly. Like I can't even believe that was me. It's so crazy. I was so swollen. Like I remember waking up a few days and this side of my face always swells when it, my skin is really, really bad. And I had just cyst, like cystic sacs all right here. My face was swollen and so red. My eyes were almost swollen shut. Like I felt so, so lethargic and tired. And even though I probably had like a 12 hour sleep, which is a solid sleep. So obviously my body was saying this is not working, this is not working. And after cutting out the soy products, honestly, that has really, really helped me. I also cut out gluten. So soy, processed sugar, gluten, and pretty much all processed things. Natural journey of trying to heal my skin. And with that, I have decided to try uh, derma rolling, which is like microdermabrasion, which you would get at a dermatologist but you can do it at home and it's micro needling um, and what you do is you pretty much r roll this on your face and all of your face except for act like active spots because if you roll over active spots then obviously it can puncture that and then just spread the bacteria all throughout your face which you don't want to do 
So you roll, you roll, and then afterward you can put on this facial oil, which helps your skin heal really fast. I just did a little patch test on the side of my cheek just to make sure that that oil wouldn't break me out. Watch the next clip and you'll see the process of how I do the derma rolling with the Banish setup. So thanks. So with the Banish Oil, I think I'm just gonna do like a spot test, probably on my little chin area, just because I'm pretty prone to breaking out and I don't wanna put this all over my face, but it does said on, say on the instructions that after using the Banisher, pat a few drops of Banish Oil onto skin and leave on. Some redness and tingling may occur and usually goes away within a few hours. Um, I just really don't want to chance it with breaking out just because I feel like I'm finally, you know, not too many active spots and just mostly scars. So just going to do like a little patch test in this area and yeah, I will keep you guys updated on whether or not I break out and what I decide to do next time I roll. Drops in, put it in this region. Oh, it feels nice. I hope my skin doesn't break out. So, so far from putting that on, I just feel a little heat, but it's not even that intense. Um, maybe because this area I didn't really roll too much either, but yeah, I will keep you guys updated as the redness goes down and 